Hello, YouTube. What is the oldest object on Earth? This is Mount Karandash in the Ural Mountains area in Russia. The oldest thing that exists on our planet because its age is close to the age of the Earth, 4.2 billion years. For com comparison, the age of the Ural Mountains themselves is only 350 million years old, and the Alps date back to the Oligocene from 33.9 to 23 million years ago. This makes mountain Karandash incredible. So in the southern Urals, in the Kusinski district of the Chelyabinsk region, there is this Karandash mountain. The mountain would have been unremarkable if the rare, very rare and very ancient mineral Israndite had not been discovered on it in the 1960s. The mountain consists almost entirely of Israndite, a very rare and unusual type of completely black stone. This is such a strange material that some scientists attribute an unknown origin to it. It was so named because of the Isranda River, which runs near the mountain. According to some scientists, Israndite was formed from the mantle of the Earth's crust that came to the surface. The age of the rock dates from 3.5 to 4.2 billion years, which makes it The oldest one on the planet, scientists have suggested that its age is 4.2 billion years. So that's like only 0 0.4 billion years younger than the Earth itself. There are only a few exits from granite to the surface in the world. The fact is that the mantle is located far from the surface at a depth of about 70 kilometers under the continents and 5.7 kilometers under the ocean floor. I once read a Russian scientific article that presented the results of studying the compositions of rock forming and accessory ultramafic minerals of Israndite samples from Alexandrovsk metamorphic complex, that's how they call it. It was found that petrographical, mineralogical, and compositional features indicate igneous cumulative origin of studied rocks, but amazing freshness of Israndite contradict with their oldest age. Very strange. Since the 1960s, a string of geologists scientists and ordinary travelers who were interested in looking at the mountain with deposits of ancient minerals have been drawn to Karandash. The mountain is located on the territory of the Arshinsky Nature Reserve. There are forests all around and the nearest village is Alexandrovka, about 10 kilometers away. This is a memorable and even mystical place. Although the height of the mountain is 610 meters above sea level, but apparently Alexandrovka itself is about 400 meters above the sea level. The mountain itself has a conical shape with a high elongated peak with rare rocky outcrops. Most of the mountain's surface is overgrown with trees. From the top of Karandash, the Itzil, Balshoi, Taganai ridges are clearly visible. Well, and Mount Yurma is right in front of you to the east, as in the palm of your hand. It seems that in a straight line, it is three or four kilometers away. On the way to the top of the mountain, you can see those very Israelite rocks. They look like black slightly dirty stones. No wonder 
there is a hypothesis that Karandash originated from the Turkic Kara Dash, which means black stone. According to another hypothesis, the mountain owes its name to the nearby graphite deposit, which has been mined in the area since the 18th century. Karandash in Russian means pencil. Scientists suggest that in ancient times, active volcanic processes took place in this area as a result of which Mount Karandash was formed. During the eruption of the volcano, the lava solidifying gradually changed the appearance of the mountain. With each eruption, the mountain changed until it acquired its current shape. This long-lived mountain has become a witness to almost all the metamorphoses that have ever happened to our planet. It is amazing that the absolute majority of South Ural residents, not to mention residents of the entire Russia, do not know that such an amazing natural monument is located on the territory of the Chelyabinsk region. And this is despite the fact that data on its strangeness have been published by scientists for quite a long time. There is an alternative hypothesis attributing Karandash Mountain to an extraterrestrial origin. Proponents of this hypothesis believe that Karandash is nothing more than a meteorite that once fell to Earth. At the same time, there is no organic matter in Israndatite. Sometimes it is called alien. People don't come here just for the beautiful views. You see, Karandash Mountain is considered to be a place of power. A symbolic pyramid is installed on its sloping top. A symbol of the macrocosm and the spiritual growth of man. It is believed by some that meditation at the pyramid helps to find answers to vital questions. Pilgrims believe that if you touch the pyramid and make a wish, it would definitely come true. Here's a description of the passage to and from the mountain. It's from open Russian sources. The Karandash road turned out to be very broken, covered in mud and puddles, due to the fact that it had been raining all week. We set off on our way back by the light of lanterns. The rain increased. We walked for three hours, slurping our boots through puddles on the forest road. There is a forest and grass around. In the Arshinsky Reserve, it reaches human height. Another amazing feature is the huge number of amphibians. I've never seen so many toads. On the way back, they sat on the roads. Think about it. Thousands of toads. They were literally on every meter, as if guarding the territory. In places, it was as if we were walking on a toad carpet. Isn't this mystical? Problems with the weather were more than compensated for by the abundance of vegetation. Among the juicy greenery, yellow flowers of Kupavka, primroses of spring, white asterisks, forest geraniums, white yellow flowers of anemone, blue bushes of forget-me-nots, delicate flowers of violets, bluebells, pink, orange flowers of sweet peas grew in abundance. There were a lot of mushrooms along the road, but all inedible. And then this, a piece of Israndite. I gave it to my familiar craftsmen for processing and they sewed in two plates. Although this mineral is fragile, it is quite suitable for applied creativity. And if you, if you heat it up and soak it with paraffin, then it gets an interesting shiny black shade. Description on the ways to get to Karandash Mountain. I know it's not realistic today, but who knows what the future holds for mankind. Since the mountain is hidden by vegetation, it is better to find a person who can show you the way. But if you are planning an independent trip, then there are two main ways 
by which you can get to Karandash from Chelyabinsk. The first way is through Zlato Ust. You need to get to the village of Magnitogorsk, then north to Alexandrovka. From the village of Alexandrovka to Karandash Mountain is about 8 kilometers. They will have to be overcome on foot. The second way is to leave the city towards Ekaterinburg, get to Kasli, and then to the village of Alexandrovka. As a rule, the navigator clearly orients travelers on this itinerary, but even the absence of the device will not be a hindrance, since local residents are willing to explain how to get there. Maybe one day we'll find out more about this strange mountain. But there's a lot more in terms of strange and paranormal phenomena I want to tell you about, about the Ural Mountains, and I will in my future videos too, as well as other parts of Eurasia. So if you like my research and can support me, my research, please do so through the links you'll find in the description to this channel. Please tell others about my work. Please kindly like my videos and thank you for your support.